Hi folks, Cheeky Scouser here. Point of aim back on the YouTube channel. We've got some nice posh pellets to test today. Polymag shorts, crossman destroyers, HN hollow points, HN terminator. Most of these are pointed pellets. Posh Gamo Raptors, Posh Gamo Armour, Posh Gamo Rockets and according to the website, this is what it says, Gamo Performance Pack, these are high performance pellets for effective pest control. Contains a tube of Gamo Raptors, Gamo Armour, Rocket Pellets, and they're supposed to be, um, if you like, armour tipped. I'll assume that means, I know, we're going to shoot through a tank. Obviously, I'm only kidding. The posh ones there, I think they're tin, and I think they are gold plated. And the other ones, I think they're tin, small copper ball burden at the end. So set these up on the range, see what they're like for accuracy. Hope to, hope to God they at least punch through the card. <laughs> so be back shortly. It's the 30 yard range. Set them up down there and I'll be back shortly. Right, let's just put this target up. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to get this camera in focus. Oh. Dear, oh dear. I'll just turn it off a second, reset it. I'll be back in a second. I think that's the boss, but the bat's about the best I'm gonna get it. So top left corner, polymag shorts, six shots. Using me BSAR 10. Single shot tray.
Well, that's quite impressive for the Polymag shorts. Next up, bottom left corner. H&N hollow points. Six shot group. Not fantastic, but we'll see what it looks like when I bring it back, get the coins out. Next up, from left to right at the top, second one in, or second one across I should say, Crossman Destroyers. As usual, six shots. Goodness. Don't know if that was a bad pellet. Um, I'll just shoot one more because one's missed the target there, just be just below the target. Next up, bottom centre, H&N Terminator. It's 
these are all similar shaped. When I say similar, H&N hollow point, Crossman destroyer, H&N terminator, all very similar. So now, a couple of bad groupings, but I don't think I've pulled the shot. I think that is the pellet that's doing the grouping. Right, here's the posh pellets now. These are the um, Gamo rockets. Absolutely never shot with these in any way, so this is going to be interesting. Bottom right target. That's actually not bad grouping at all, that. Next up, the PBA armour. These are the tin pellets, similar to the rockets with a, almost like a copper ball bearing at the ends. So I'd, I'd say these are the uh, lighter version of what I've just shot, to be honest. So these are the top right target, number four on the right, at the top. Not bad grouping, but the last of the posh pellets now. These gold plated raptors. 
Tizan for extra speed. Extra aerodynamics. And still supposed to be keeping the punch. So this is um, from the top right hand corner. Second one in. Or from left to right, the third one across at the top. Now then, these are something like, I don't know, seven pounds for about 150 pellets. So they're very, very expensive. Let's go and get the target, come back and have a look at the results. Taking the camera off the bipod. Here's my R10. Your bipod. There's the pellets. There's the grouping. Let's get the magic coins out. Right, start from this end, the posh pellets. Gamo Raptors at the top, Gamo Armour I mean, 10 pence easy covers it, 5p, yeah I'd say it covers them, Gamo Rockets, 10 pence easy, yep, 5 pence covers them, Gamo Raptors the expensive gold plated, now 10p, sort of touches them and it definitely doesn't cover no can't get the five p to cover there's a wild one at the top that wasn't a pulse shot that was just the pellets h and n terminators no can't cover them basically two groups of three for the terminators crossman destroyer Two outside shots, not very good grouping. Hollow points, one at the bottom there. No, no. Poly mag shorts, which are very popular. Well, 10 pence and the 5p. If you look at the grouping compared to the 5p, poly mag shorts, absolutely superb at 30 yards in an R10. And the Gamo Armors. Yeah, I'd give them a second. Or is it Gamo Rockets? Hmm, let's, look, let's have a look. 
I'd say the Gamo Armour and the Gamo Rocket's quite good, but Polymag Short to the winner. Coming up in the next video, hopefully, FX versus FX. Two FX rifles, both 2 2. One's a little bit newer than the other, but stay tuned for the next video. And this is Points of Aim. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. Feel free to leave a comment.